Hey, so I'm starting a podcast series. I kind of did something like this a while back, but I haven't had a chance to follow up until now. Anywho, for my first episode, I'll be talking about the uh, my YouTube journey. And I was hoping for this to be like a question and answer, or at least a portion of this would be like a question and answer segment. And well, I, I got one question. I'll answer that and perhaps I'll answer some of the questions which I think you might want to uh, get answered in this podcast. And then for the rest, I might just talk about other stuff relating to my YouTube career. Anywho. Uh, the one question that I got for this episode is from Gudrix the Slug. I've also drawn Drew Gudra. He, he also made a request for me to uh, to draw. Anywho, the question was, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Um, I wanted to have a way to make my ideas come to life and make money with them. Well, here, here's an interesting story. I had a life of... Um, should I say 21 or 22 years? Like the normal traditional route of um, go to school, finish college, get a degree, get a corporate job. I, I did all that jazz before I ultimately uh, started my YouTube channel. But I bring this up because in my uh, corporate job, there was one colleague of mine. You know how... Jesus Christ, all these motorcycles. I hope the noise reduction feature is like uh, taking care of them. These motorcycles are really noisy. Hold on. Let me just allow them to pass. Jesus Christ. No noise reduction feature is going to take care of that. Anyhow, I'll just edit it in post. Um, yeah, the reason I bring it up is because during my corporate job, I had this one colleague who knows some psychology stuff. You know how some psychology folks just asks you to write something and then they just read you to filth. <laughs> I did that. And what my colleague told me was that I had a lot of ideas, but I didn't have an avenue to channel them. And then COVID happened. My one fantasy during my stint at the corporate employment before COVID was working from home. COVID normalized that. And I've had the time... Yeah, I've had the time to think about what I really wanted and I've had the time to start a YouTube channel. And that that's how it started. But I guess the question was what inspired me? Yeah, I think I answered that. Yeah, sure. All right. Who is a YouTuber that I look up to? Right now, it's PewDiePie. Have you seen his recent content? He was once uh, the most subscribed YouTube channel. And right now, I like how he transitioned from that um, mainstream big YouTube channel to just kind of his own personal diary. I, I know like the hardcore gaming fans might not be so thrilled with that. But myself, that's my favorite era of PewDiePie. I actually want to... I, I think that's um, that's an end goal for me. Like, just being able to... Excuse me. I have my dogs. Yeah, so I just want to be able to do the content that I want. Of course, like, don't freak out for those who watch my Pokemon content. I still love doing them. <laughs> you know, feeding the algorithm and such. But my end goal is being able to just make whatever content that I want and still, like, getting enough money to go by my day-to-day with those content no team just me and my camera and whatever the hell i want to do that's what i really want out of this if i'm being very honest when did i know that i want to do youtube oh it was years into my corporate job i did not know what career path i wanted to do for a while i wanted to work remotely and for myself that is what I was sure of, but I didn't know what exactly I'm going to do um, for a living. And then, you know, I, I figured out YouTube. Why not YouTube? I, I took a chance, I started it, and now I'm here. Where would I want the channel to be in five years? I think I've already answered this quite a bit during the, the PewDiePie question, but... 
at a point where the income is uh, stable and large enough so that money isn't a problem anymore, all while the content and the production process still being enjoyable. And by that, I don't... I have nothing against a team. Like, of course, if you want to grow a business, you need to hire a team of people. But personally, I don't like working for others. And and that's that's a me thing, perhaps. That's a me problem. But if I could get away with just doing everything myself and like i i'm fine not growing as huge as the other channels i do want more money so i'll per- i'll perhaps ha- hire a team sometime but ideally i just want to be able to go with my current setup and make enough money for it and that's what i want to see myself I- that's what i want the channel to be in 5 years or maybe yeah why would a YouTube career be worth pursuing? It can give you lots of flexibility in terms of work hours and environment, and also, in theory, unlimited earning potential. That appeals to me a lot. And that's actually it. I was hoping for this to be a longer episode, but I guess we're just testing the waters. So I, I could do with that. But anywho, if you have questions that weren't answered, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll reply as best as soon as I can. And as best as I can. Alright, bye!